Okay guys, Corey here with Co-op Couple. Uh, welcome back to another temp attempt to survive in the long dark. If you watched the last episode, I survived for a little over four hours. That kind of stinks, and I hopefully will not survive that little amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and tone down the difficulty to Voyager. Um... Hopefully it won't be as bad. Stalker was pretty bad. Voyager was still somewhat difficult, but uh, let's see if I can survive. Maybe this guy. I'll start on the highway, I guess. I always do. The highway's uh, rich in resources, if you didn't know. So yeah, I just wasn't aware that it was so difficult that last time. I was really honestly surprised. Wow, they start me out in a weird time. And in a weird location, look at this. Where am I? Man. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna try to survive. What sucks is the wo the wolves, they really get you sometimes. If you don't have a gun or if you don't have a flare, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, not a big deal, not a big deal. Looks like a little building over there. I'm going to go ahead and try to go there first. After, heck yeah, hatchet, all right. Frozen corpse. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay, looks like he, wow, he died with his mouth open. I feel bad for the poor guy. So the first thing I want to do is hopefully find some food and or water here. I may stay until the later hours because that might give me a better chance. Alright, so it's warmer in here. I'm not going to freeze to death as bad. And we got some firewood. Firewood's a good sign. Cotton socks are not a good sign. Simple tools are good. Let's see here. This game is actually fairly difficult if you have, I mean, if you're playing at least on middle difficulty. Otherwise, uh, it gets kind of easy if you don't have wolves attacking you. I think the wolves basically make the game difficult. Wow, I'm finding all sorts of resources. Bed. Heavy wool sweater, huh? Thick wool sweater. Let's see if I have one of these. Clothing. Let's see here. Thin wool sweater. Heavy wool sweater. Thin wool sweater. Heavy wool sweater. I'm going to wear the heavy wool sweater. And I uh, will go ahead and... I'm not going to drop this in one. That's fine. That's going to help out in not freezing to death. So, let's see, 7, 11 a.m. Uh, anything else I can take from here? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just risk it and go on out. So we got a piece of wood. Now, with the hatchet, I can probably better search for wood or forage for it, but I will not do that at the moment. I might wait until it gets warmer. Or you know what I could do is if I had some accelerants, then I could just start a fire and then search for wood and then keep adding to the fire. That would be a pretty good solution. Uh, I'm not too worried though because I'm pretty sure I'm in an area where if I keep going down, then I might run into some more houses. Meaning I might run into some more wolves, but I'm willing to take that risk. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, see that? See that? There's a freaking wolf. Already. Back away. Back away. 
See these wolves, man. Look at that. Did he just... And these wolves. They're everywhere. Not a big fan of the wolves. So they're really, really mean. Storm lantern. Yay. Cloth. I'll take some cloth. Metal container. Energy bar. Not bad. Not bad. I could use this. Yeah. I'll use it. I don't really want that. That's too heavy. Um, peaches are pretty heavy as well, but they're good for eating. Freaking cheese, man. Not a super huge fan of wolves, so... Oh crap, I'm cold. I didn't realize I was this cold. Thanks for warning me. I just don't want to freeze to death, because that would not be good. I should have stayed in that place. Why am I such a fool? Now I'm freezing, okay? You happy now, guy? I blame the wolf. It's all the wolf. The wolf did it. Alright, so I'm probably doing something stupid right now. Okay, I'm still freezing, and that's not good. Freezing stinks. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go this way. I should be able to find some... some sh sort of shelter. I'll stop off in this car real quick. Wow. What have we here? Energy bars. What do you think? Candy bar. Hmm. A knife? Oh, please. You'll warm up. Just give it a minute. As long as my condition doesn't get below 80, I should be okay. So there you go. There's a little house thingy. Hope that's a house thingy. Still freezing, calories going down. Alright. Fishing camp. We made it to a fishing camp, and here is probably where I will stay for right now. Salty crackers, delicious. Alright, so let's hope for some clothing. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I don't need it either. Okay. Seeing what goods I can find. Insulated boots. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Shoes? Forget that. Insulated boots. It's better than my basic boots. I'll tell you that. i drop those. Normally I'd salvage them, but... Hey, whatever. Oh, a flare. That's nice. A 
metal container. You were hiding from me, weren't you? Just as well, you were empty. Jerk. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because I'm in a safe place. And I'm not dying at the moment. Um, I might sleep here for a couple hours and then I'll venture on to the rest of the cabins. So, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, just stay tuned. I'll have some more survival goodness for you.